Jvox. It's good to be here today, guys. How you doing? Good. Good. Very nice. All right. I'm going to get a little nerdy for a second. Um, I've built my own computer before. Anybody else? Anybody else built? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. See, that's the thing. I see, like, a couple of you, a couple of you clapping. The rest of you are like, that's not cool. But that's fine. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um, here's the thing. Do we have a picture of my computer? Yeah, I built that. So it's pretty cool, right? It's pretty nice. It doesn't light up or anything fancy. Uh, but it's a, it's a nice, yeah. And, and here's the thing. That's called a Hackintosh. Um, what that is, is I built a Mac out of PC parts, okay? So I took, like, took normal Windows PC parts and then ran, win, or ran Mac on it, right? Ran Apple on it. And, and here's the thing. Um, I don't recommend that because the reason I no longer use that computer is because it doesn't work, all right? So, um, See, what happened was is that um, every time there's, like, an update for Mac, there's, like, a whole crazy amount of, like, coding that you have to do to, like, get stuff right. And you got to go into the BIOS. And you got to do all kinds of stuff. And I just would end up having to reboot, to restart, to refresh, to get back to the basics time and time again. And, and we started a series called Reboot a few weeks back. And we're just talking about, hey, what, what's it like if we just take a refresh, a restart, and look at what it is that we believe about God? And so we're talking about some really important things in this series. In fact, we're talking about what I think is one of the most important things of all, but I think it's often misunderstood. And it was taught to us wrongly, probably from a very young age age. How many of you know the movie Peter Pan, the Disney movie Peter Pan, right? Uh, about the guy who breaks into your house at night and um, steals you away, right? I mean, just a nice, nice bedtime story for every, all the children, right? <laughs> um, you know, and, uh, but in Peter Pan, in Peter Pan, Peter comes in and he's trying to teach the children how to fly like he flies. And he says something to them. He says, all you need is a little faith, trust, and pixie dust. There we go. There we go. And so what happens is, is Peter says, this is all you need, faith, trust, pixie dust. And then he sprinkles the pink pixie dust on them. And, and just because they, they hoped and they felt, they were able to fly, fly. And I think, I think many of us from that and from things like it, Maybe you have a weird idea about one of the most important parts of, of our belief. And it's the word faith. What is faith? What does it mean? How does it work? Um, because faith is not magic. And it's not pixie dust. And it's not that simple. I would argue, and we're going to talk today, that faith is trust, but it's not pixie dust. It's trust, but it's not pixie dust. It's, it's knowing, it's believing, but it's not magic. Faith is trust, but it's not pixie dust. And here's the thing. In, in the book of Hebrews, it tells us that it's really important that we understand what faith is. Hebrews 11.6 says this. It says, it is impossible to please God without, say it. What's that last word? Faith. It's impossible to please God without faith. Do you understand how big of a deal that is? Impossible. Like, it, you, have, you have a better chance of getting into a fist fight with Dwayne the Rock Johnson and winning than pleasing God without faith. You, you have a better chance of walking outside tripping on the curb stop, falling flat on your face, and grabbing a winning lottery ticket than you do of pleasing God without faith. Better chances, right? You have a better chance of eating all of these donuts in one sitting than you do in pleasing God 
without faith. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The Bible tells us exactly what faith is because faith is, faith is incredibly important. It says, without faith, you can't please God. Without faith, you can't have a relationship with God. And we talk about that's, that's the most important thing. The most important thing for all people in this life is that you have a relationship with the God who created you, who fathers you, who loves you, who knows you. That's the most important thing in life. And it says, the Bible says that you need faith to do that. And so we're in luck because the Bible gives us a really, really, really clear definition of what faith is. And it's not pixie dust. Hebrews 11.1 1 says this. Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It's the evidence of things we cannot see. And I'm mesmerized by this idea. Okay, right, right. Faith, it it demonstrates, it exposes, it reveals, it shows the evidence of reality. Now, th here's why this is important. Because you may hear people talk about faith that don't, don't fully understand faith, and they talk about it as if it's, as if it's the other part of that verse, which is hope. See, the Bible says there's a difference between faith and hope. They're both important, but they're very different. Hope, hope is your wishes and your desires. It's the thing that you care about. It's the thing that you want to be true. Like, I, I, I used to go to Gulf Middle School pre-COVID and, and go to, uh, like, lunches at, at the school once a week. And um, it was awesome. But... What was, what was unbelievable to me is that every single time I would go to lunch, there'd be one student who'd sit down, and they'd start to eat the nachos, the same nachos that they bought a week ago, and the week before that, and the week before that. And they'd sit down with the nachos, and they'd dig in to that little plasticky cheese thing with the, with the kind of soggy chip, and a little bit of like that, um, that like dyed red meat stuff. And they'd take a bite, and they'd go, oh, this is awful. <laughs> and what's funny to me is I was like, but you knew it was bad. Like, this is what you bought. Like, get something else. And they're like, man, but I just, I just hoped it would be better, right? I mean, this is what we do. We, we, we sit down every day with the same thing, and we're like, gosh, I hope it's good today. But you know better, don't you? But you hope. You hope. You're like, please, dear God. Make the food edible. See, this is kind of what hope is. Hope is the wish. It's the desire. It's the longing for. And almost all people everywhere share a lot of hopes, don't we? Like, we all hope that we would live a good life. And we hope that we get fed, right? Everybody's on board with that. Everybody likes food when you're hungry, yeah? Uh, we hope we hope that um, we can enjoy the life that we've been given, right? We hope, um, we hope that when we die, we get to heaven. I mean, everybody hopes for these things. But hope is something that you don't know for sure. See, hope is a lot like this box. Because I have the donuts, but you... You're hoping that these are for you, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. You're hoping that this is for you, but you don't, you don't know this. In, in fact, I can look in here, and I know, and now you know. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. But, but the good news is that the Bible tells us that we don't just have to hope. See, that verse says that faith is the evidence of what we hope for. Which means that faith is something entirely, entirely different. Now, how many of you had watched 
a version of this box game before. You've seen this happen, right? Like every single YouTube channel possible, I'm pretty confident, has done a version of this, right? Like every single, every single like YouTube person that I've ever seen has been like, we're going to do the box today. <laughs> and, and they're always, see what's great about this game is that they have no idea what they're sticking their hands into, right? That's the fun part. The fun part for you and I watching is that they're sticking their hands into like, uh, you know, like poisonous snakes or something. You're like, ha, 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 they're going to die, right? Like you're, you're watching, they're sticking their hands in, and it's like, um, you know, like it's a dirty diaper or something. You're like, ha, ha, ha. Or, right, like it's like sand spurs. <laughs> and you're, they're like, Ugh. you know, like you, you're watching, and you're, you're enjoying their fear, Right? That you know something that they don't know. And see, this is the difference between faith and hope. See, because hope is sticking your hand in the box and going, is that a, is that a chinchilla? No, 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 no. That's a bird, right? You know, like, you're just feeling right. You have no idea what you're doing. That is hope. You're saying, I don't know. I have no idea. But the Bible says that faith is knowing the reality of your hope. See, faith is being able to see what's on the inside. Faith is is when you can look inside the box and you're reaching in and you're going, oh, I know what this is, even though nobody else does. This is pencil lead. This is shots fired. Um, no, I have to clarify because somebody was like, somebody was like, did you guys have a jewel on stage? And I was like, no. No, we did not. It's pencil lead. It's pencil lead. So anyway, um, so faith is being able to see inside. It's the reality. It's saying, I hope that when I die, I go to heaven. But because the Bible says that if I believe in Jesus, I'll go to heaven, I don't just hope for that. I know it by faith. See, the Bible says that if, uh, if we confess our sins to God, we've been talking about that over the last couple weeks, right? The Bible says if we confess our sins to God, he's faithful and just to forgive us. So I hope that the bad things in life that I do are forgiven and they're wiped away. But because of Jesus and because the Bible says that he will forgive us by faith, I don't just hope, I know it. Do you see the difference? See, hope is the wish. Faith is the knowing. And the Bible says that we can know because of faith. Faith is knowing what you hope for. And it's knowing what's true. There's things in our life that we know that other people don't know. We get to be confident when others are cautious. See, you're growing up in one of the most secular, um, and by secular, I mean one of the most non-Christian areas of the United States. I don't know if you knew that. You're in the, you're in like the top, um, we're, we're in the top, I think, 15 most non-Christian places in America, okay? And you're growing up in an America that is increasingly non-Christian. And so what you find is that you have people around you who don't know what happens when they die. Or they don't know what life holds for them. They don't know the purpose of life. They don't know what the Bible says. They don't know the truth about the spiritual world. But guess what? By faith, you know the things that you hope for. The things that the Bible says is true by faith, by trusting, not pixie dust, by trusting who God is and what he says, you know and here's the thing, I, I understand that faith can be kind of a strange, strange idea because, well, because we're, we're trusting something that we haven't seen yet, right? And when we say faith, we're, we're, we're saying faith in God, but, but I want to do, um, do something really important here. I, I want everybody to stand up real quick. Stand up, stand up. If you're at home watching with us, I'm telling you right now, stand up. Um, if you're driving in a car right now and you're, you're buckled in a seat, 
Stand up. All right. Stand up. Um, no, no, no. Everybody stand up. And here's, here's what we're going to do. On three, I'm going to have you jump, okay? You ready? All right. Ready? This is, now this is, this is risky, okay? I, I'm putting a lot of trust in you guys right now. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jump! Okay. What was that? No, you didn't. No, you didn't. How many of you want to watch Just Nevaeh jump on three? One, two, three. Oh! Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You guys are crazy. You are crazy and so cocky. Do you have any idea what you just did? You jumped. You who have been grounded on the earth your entire life, in a moment of unbelievable trust, decided to leave the ground, having no idea if you would ever come back. You jumped into the air, and guess what? You were so confident and faith-believing in gravity that you decided that you would jump. Now go ahead and take a seat. Now think about something real quick. Think about something. When I asked you to jump, not a single one of you went, I don't know about this, man. I don't know about this. If I jump, what happens if we don't come back? Like none of you, get this, none of you ever thought about that fear. You were, you were like, this is stupid, right? Like you, have, you had no idea what was happening. But the reality is, get this, you have faith in something that you have never seen, but something that you absolutely know is true. How many of you have ever seen a gravitational wave before? How many of you have ever seen a magnetic field before? Yes, a couple of you going, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can actually see magnetic fields, but the, you, can see the, you can see the effects a little more. But what's crazy to me about this is that there's, there's moments in time where, where we have an issue with faith. Isn't it true? Where we're like, I don't know, faith, feels, faith can feel a, a little risky. Where we're like, I'm putting faith in God who I can't see. And yet every single morning you get out of bed and you start to walk. And none of you are like, oh man, if I let this foot up and I start floating, we're done, right? None of you have ever thought about that. I don't know if you know this, but every speaker, ear pods, headphones, TV speakers, all of them use magnetic fields to make, to make the sound. And none of you, none of you have ever seen a speaker or a headphone or an AirPod and been like, what is this? It's magic. <laughs> right? Like you've never. And it's based on something that you don't see. And you don't lose your mind like, what is this? Because I've seen you with headphones. All right, so. Now, here's the thing. You actually have faith in things you've never seen many times. And not only do you have the faith, but you, you live it. You live as if gravity works. You live as if mag magnetic fields work. You've never seen an atom, but you live as if they hold things together. You've never feared that your arm was just going to split off from your body at some point, right? And you're like, I don't, I don't know if the atoms are going to hold themselves together today. What's going to happen here, right? I mean, we, we trust things we've never seen before. What the Bible says is this is what faith is. And I'm convinced that maybe Maybe God was sneaky enough to create things that, that we could never see, that we would have to trust so that we would understand who he is. And my big hope this morning is that we would recognize that maybe, maybe, maybe there's a difference between saying Yes, I believe in God and living like 
I believe in God. That there's a difference between saying, I believe in gravity, and somebody going, okay, can you jump? And you're like, no, nah, I don't. Mm-mm-mm. Don't trust that. But if we believed in God, it would change the way we live. And there's a difference between just saying, I, oh, yeah, I think I believe. I hope. I hope that God is real. I hope that I'll go to heaven. I hope that I'm forgiven. And saying, I know that God is real. And I know I'm forgiven. And I know what happens when I die. And I know the end. And I know what the Bible says is true. And I live like it. There's a story in Mark chapter 9 where a father comes and and he's trying to have his son healed. His son has a, has a demon living in him. And, and so the father brings his son to Jesus. And the father's kind of exasperated. And he just says, Jesus, if you can do anything, take pity on us and help us. And you can hear kind of how frustrated this dad is, right? Because he turns to Jesus, right, the creator of the universe, and he says, well, if you can do anything, help us. How many of you feel like that's a little too sarcastic and snarky to get with Jesus, you know? (laughs) You know, like, well, if you could help, do it, right? And Jesus calls out and he says, if you can, I just say, I would never want to be face-to-face with Jesus and get called out that cold, you know? He says, if you can, everything is possible for one who believes. And then this next verse is really important. He says, immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. I do believe. I do. I do. I do. I I more than hope. But if I'm honest, and this is where I want you to look today. Look at yourself. Look at your heart. If you were honest, does your faith match your hope? Does the, does, does the hope that you have about God and Jesus and the Bible, does it, is it as confident or have you found the confidence of faith? Do you believe that what God says is true is true? And there's this man who's incredibly honest and he's incredibly humble and he gets to a moment where he realizes that his faith isn't as high as his hope and he says, listen, I do want to believe, help me, God. And immediately after, Jesus heals the son. And I think there's just something so incredible about this that you and I and every single person has to wrestle with. Do I just have hope or do I actually have faith? So I want you to bow your heads real quick. We're going to pray. Lord God, I thank you that you give us both hope and faith. They're incredible gifts. And Father God, I pray that this morning that you would help our faith to rise. God, that knowing that faith is, is trust. It's not, it, 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 it's not just whim. It's just not desire. It's trusting who you are and what you say. And Lord God, we just take a moment together to say, God, where where we have unbelief, where our faith is weak, help us grow. I want to encourage you right now. Heads bowed, eyes closed. If you recognize that your faith Isn't it as confident that you're trusting in the things that you hope for? Isn't settled? Just repeat those words to Jesus. I do believe. Help me with my unbelief. 
right now praying to I do believe help me with my unbelief Lord God we take all of these prayers before you and we ask that you grow our faith from mustard seed size to mustard tree size continue to grow us Lord in Jesus name